Hello Juice Cannabis Channel, this is Joey and today I've got a completely different format video. What you're looking at here is my YouTube video channel. It's um, late uh, November of 2013 and what I want to do here is go into my analytics and take a look at some of the video stats that I've got going on here and some of the earning data that's going on here and I want to start some conversation about what are you finding a successful way to get your videos viewed and to turn them into a good monetized stream. So I think that everybody in this topic could be creating a video channel much like I am talking about your grow or your experience with cannabis or your thoughts and it doesn't have to be cannabis of course you could talk about any different subject area you want. If you really like knitting, you could do a video blog about knitting and the things I'm talking about in this video will probably help you. And so let's go take a look at the analytics to start off with. I'm kind of disappointed in the estimated earnings that it's going on here. Even though I've added a bunch of new videos and really worked at the keyword phrases and really did some studying on them, my earnings have actually dropped down recently and that's really disappointing to me and part of the reason I'm making this video so if I look back to the last 90 days there were some days here where it was making almost 10 bucks a day and as I saw this curve going up I was getting very hopeful that this curve and this curve were matching and this was going to continue to go on and upward but my traffic has sort of stayed flat. It goes up when I put up a video and I do the publication about it and it sort of fades off and, and uh, it's been on basically a little bit of a downward curve here but the earnings is certainly on a much larger downward curve even though the number of subscribers is increasing and staying fairly steady at its increase rate here so I like to look at this data here the last seven days total the last 30 days total. Now if I stretch this data right out, you can see that my rate of new subscribers has flattened out as well. And I really did well in here in this area as I had my website coordinated and it was sending a lot of people to the YouTube channel and I was getting a lot of new subscribers every day because of that. And I did some stuff with my website that's lost all of its uh, organic traffic and so this is all just new uh, subscribers from YouTube itself and not being assisted by my website at this time. I'm certain I'll get that straightened out. But some of the stuff that I really wanted to look at and get your feedback and maybe you're doing something different or not as well and you can learn from me or you know whatever. Let's help each other all the way around here. Estimated earnings overall, sure, we'll take a quick peek at this. So my total estimated earnings is about $470. And I really thought it was going to be about $300 a month when it was seeing this growth going on here. But then, boom, it dropped off. And a whole bunch of not as good of results here. And I expected better results because I had turned on monetization for all of my videos where there was a big section of time here where I had monetization essentially turned off for most all of the videos and only a few of them had monetization turned on. And when I turned it on now all the videos it didn't seem to make a great deal of difference as you can see here. So that's disappointing to me and I want to learn more about that. So if I go into the views area we can see that there is a pretty steady growing and now the the viewership is really boosted by my publishing and then sort of fades back and then I publish and it fades back so when my publishing fades out over the next little while it'll be interesting to see what happens with the traffic over time and so when I see these views and I look at each one of these videos I want to open this up in a new tab and I hope it gives me the data that I want for just this video. Very good. Now if I open this up in a new tab, will it give me the data for just that video? Very good. So each of these videos is showing, 
its own pattern in its lifetime. This is awesome. And now if I do compare this against its total estimated earnings, you can see where I had the the earnings changed so that I thought I had them turned off. So maybe I had the the pre-roll thing turned off. And then I turned the pre-roll thing back on and it's faded off to not making much money at all, even though the traffic is coming in. Which is interesting. So this is awesome that you can pull in this kind of metrics in it and see that it was earning nice and steady and all of a sudden the earnings have dropped right off. And what's the deal with that? Of course, I think I know what the deal is with that. And I'll go and do some more research in a second, but first of all, let me pull up more videos. Right, this is all of them. So I want to see this one in a new tab which gives me all of its traffic. This one, this one, this one, this one. This one's enough for now. I already looked at this one's earnings and this one's earnings. So let's go on and see how this traffic really increased there. Now that's going to be interesting in the future. Uh, I want to find out what's the deal with that and what are the keywords that are different from this part here to this part here. So that's a little bit different research. And I want to know what the keywords are and how the keywords are playing in. Look at that. It was making money and then it, it too went flat here just after the beginning of October. And that's significant because, yeah, I did some, some stuff at the beginning of October with Fiverr. So, yeah, I, I bought this ebook that said. If you do these things, you will boost your traffic to your YouTube video. These things don't work for your websites anymore. Google filters them out, but it still works for your individual YouTube videos. You know, like what was my first clue that I shouldn't have been doing that? But at any rate, it's done, and now I want to do more studies about why did this go up? in traffic right here. What are the keywords that are different here and the keywords of the traffic coming in in here that's different? And so that's a very interesting study is the keywords for the different parts of the traffic but I'm still going through, what was that last video? Uh, cannabis cuttings Q&A. Cannabis cuttings Q&A. So I'm still going through, let's go, th well it's a lot of videos, 25 of them. get that phone call. All right. I don't know where I left off because I had a long phone call with this video on pause, but what I did in the meantime is I opened up the top 25 trafficked videos from the beginning of my channel until now and compared their traffic stats against their earnings. And so we can see here a very similar pattern to many of them that are longer term is that there were some earnings going on on a regular basis and then it dropped off. It actually spiked and then dropped off. And it dropped off very specifically at the beginning of October. So here's the next one where I turned off a monetization across a whole bunch of different videos in, in a, an effort to see if it gave me a higher subscription rate or a higher viewership rate or a higher retention rate or something without monetization on my channel to see if it would help the growth. And then I turned monetization back on and I turned it on to most every channel. And right around this time here, back again at the beginning of October, and this video saw a boost in earnings and a boost in traffic at that time. Here's another one. Just before the beginning of October, this is the middle of September, 
that this one started to go up. This is a bit of a different thing. And I turned on the earnings at that time. This is the, we're going from the top down in the top 25. This one made some steady money and then pretty flat all the way along, getting rid of cannabis grow smell. And I thought this being tied to a specific product would have a better earnings rate because there should be some products advertised right along with that. Now, marijuana harvest and curing. This one I put on the monetizations shortly after it was posted, which I have been trying to do is to post a video and leave it up there for a week or two and let all the regular subscribers have a chance to see it before I put the monetization on. I don't know if that's valid or it makes any difference. So here's another one. Put the monetization on and it's not doing much of anything. Made this one here made ten dollars and it looks like I've had the monetization on maybe I turned it off during this time and I definitely turned it on at this time as I saw the increase in traffic to it and the traffic is all just faded right off again back to where it was so I'm thinking to turn the monetization off on it again it made ten dollars that's just chicken feed this this video made four dollars and it's just not worth interrupting people for this little blip of change every 10 cents every once in a while. This one again, overnight, it's made $4.61. It's just not worth interrupting people. And it's got a pretty steady bit of traffic, but it's not making any money. This one it's our, started off with traffic right away and has been holding a pretty steady bit of traffic so it's got some keyword phrases that it's ranking well for in the searches and the next uh, internal video I'll do is about the traffic sources so this one's about the earnings and I'm going through the top 25 looking to see at the earnings of these and I'm looking at the top 25 traffic videos not the top 25 earning videos so there's a lot to learn about the YouTube videos and how this is all working Here's one I've had monetization on for quite a long time. It makes nothing, $3.55. This one's made $6.38, and I thought that it would make more because it's talking about juicing cannabis. LED lights, very you know, sporadic earnings, up to $0.75 cents as a top earning one day. Cannabis seedling care, not making anything, but it's getting some pretty good traffic. So this one started off with a good steady 100 visitors a day because of the keyword phrases. And I really worked hard at trying to find good keyword phrases for this specific video. But it's not making any money. Here's another one, hermaphrodite plant. It's making the steady traffic, 20, 20, 30 views a day, not making any money. $5 over the months. This one's only been online for a couple months. It's been getting some pretty good traffic not making any money maybe a 25 cents one this one not making any money droopy pot plants and it's got ads on there for a long time and it's made a dollar seventy one it's just not worth having ads on there this one made five dollars because it's got a spike of earnings this one day so the money's out there to be made but why am I my channel's not making it you know, the subject area, of course, it may have a limited number of advertisers paying at this time. Hmm. Well, right here at 14 minutes in the video, I've gone and changed to a different screen of stats where I brought up the top 25 earning videos over the past year since I started the channel. Not quite a year. It starts off um, turning on monetization back in April. And you can see monetization not much. I turned it off on most of the videos around this time and it didn't change much. Then I turned it back on to all the videos and I thought, oh, here it comes. Look at this, look at this. And meh. Yeah. So, but look, one video has made $218 since I put it up there. This is phenomenal. 50, 30, 20, 29. 
now we're getting down to the, the videos aren't making anything. So what I want to do is open these all in new tabs and go and take a a look for five, six, seven mites indoor day twenty one the best time to harvest and map for their plan catalyst Q and A overnight. Now are you in down to made three dollars? I'm gonna go down through all of them because I don't know where it might. What was that last one? Should have said it over. Day six. All right. So here's the earnings on the growing marijuana question about droopy plants. Just not making much of anything. If we compare this to the estimated monetized playbacks. So there's the monetized playbacks where it could have made money. And that's how much money it made. So there's a bunch of playbacks that are not monetized. And there's different earning places here too that I'm not familiar with. Let's go on to this one. Here's earnings from this one. Just estimated monetized playbacks. So there's a couple places here where, oh, they did make money on those estimated monetized playbacks. Absolutely, really not much money at all. So this is the marijuana one that made $218. So it was making nice steady money every day. And this is what I thought most of my videos would be doing. So if I go with this against estimated monetized playbacks, a lot less monetized playbacks all of a sudden at this time. In fact, it's a whole bunch of playbacks where there's just no monetization even available to it. And let me go to views. So the views haven't dropped off. It's the monetized views that have dropped off significantly. And why? There's got to be some details about what makes a monetized view versus a not monetized view? What makes a monetized view versus a not monetized view? And getting in here and, and really poking around in this data, estimated monetized, look at that, there are a bunch more blanks where there's just not monetized playbacks. What makes a monetized view versus a not monetized view? And I recognize this part here where I had shut off the pre-roll ads and just left on the little hover over ad or something something different in this time where I intentionally shut off ads to see if it would boost the effectiveness of the channel. So estimated monetized playbacks. Again, monetized playbacks breaking up over here. What makes a monetized view versus a not monetized view? And so in review, let's take a look at some of the, the all of the videos here that make up the total of 400,000 views. And what I've done here is I've pulled them up individually so that I see all of the video earnings. I see this is all of the earnings from when I turned on earnings in the middle of April until now at uh, the middle of November. So April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, seven months, 400 and, you know, 60 bucks a month on average or something. Yeah. A little bit of pocket change and it's worth it if this is a hobby, sure, what the heck. And since it's making some money, there's got to be a way to improve it and get it to make more money so that most of the videos are making $200 over a seven month period instead of most of the videos making $1.65 or less over a seven month period. And so what I want to do is I've opened up the top 25 videos and I've, here's the last couple actually, uh, droopy pot plants and you can see 
demonetized against the estimated monetized playbacks against the actual earning playback. So we got the orange is the estimated number of playbacks that could have been monetized, and then we have the actual earnings. So 458 monetized playbacks, $1.71. Pretty not much money. And But why is that different than the other? You have 75 playbacks over this period of time. Um, what's the total number of playbacks? That would be great to have. $1.65. Oh, here we've had 70,000 monetized views and it's made $218. I'm going to put that into pennies and views. So let's take it a uh, number of views divided by number of pennies. 70,399. You're probably faster than me at this. Divided by the number of pennies, 21896 equals 3.21. Let me just add that to my memory because I don't know what that means. Now let's take this one where we have 458 estimated views, monetized views, divided by 171 pennies equals 2.67 gives me a bit of a indication see this is monetized views though and how does that compare to the number of views so here we have 10,183 divided by 5, 6, 8, 5 equals 1.79 for its earning ratio. 1.79 is lower than the other ones. So here is 7201 divided by 3698. 1.94. So that's also not a very good earning per earnable view ratio. No, 7690 divided by 2367. 3.24. So this one's actually earning at a fairly good rate. I wonder if I can download all this data and put this into a spreadsheet because this would give me more details. And now I want to put that together with the data on which are the keyword phrases that's coming in for each of these videos. Yes, indeed, there is a spreadsheet that you can download that has just everything you want to know about what your what's going on with your video. Estimated earnings. Ad earnings, transactions, number of views, estimated minutes watched, average duration, percentage of it that's viewed, the subscriber views, ad sets, and double click earnings. I actually made some money from double click earnings. And what does that mean? Playback based CPM. Playback based gross revenue. Impressions. Impression based CPM. Impression based gross revenue. Clickable impressions. Likes, likes removed, favorites added, favorites removed. All the data on the top 82 earning videos. Why only the top 82 earning videos? Do I only have data for the top 82? 
only 82 videos have earned money, which would be significant that I turn off the earning stuff on the videos that are not even earning any money. So that's a fantastic database to get. Now let's go into traffic sources. And we have the same thing from the same time period. And we can see that YouTube search has been good. It's been good and has not been dampened, though the earnings have been dampened. YouTube suggested video came up and has come down a bit. External website has come up and been fair to partly steady, though I thought that would have gone down a bit. YouTube guide something. YouTube partner promotion. This is significant that in the middle of October all of the YouTube partner promotion vanished. And my earnings vanished at around the same time. So the YouTube partner promotion. The YouTube partner promotion. Now wait a second. I keep getting approached by these networks that say join our network we'll help you make more money what happened here did I inadvertently join a network that is soaking up my cash did one of those guys now claim me as a network how do you how do you find that out or is it that maybe I should be joining a network because then the network partner promotion would give me a whole bunch of additional traffic. Uh, that's an important question. Cool. Google search. Eh, not much difference there. So YouTube search is the main main driver and YouTube is the second biggest search engine online. So if I go into YouTube search, then I can find out what are the biggest keyword phrases, juicing cannabis. And this has got to be a fairly new phrase because well, it's been pretty steady all the way along, juicing cannabis. Growing weed. Good, then down, and then pretty steady strong here and I did go in and do some updating through everything to add growing weed in as the keyword phrase for everything so that's been successful what's this red one weed vines so people are searching for weed vines here's a keyword phrase that 10 or 12 people a day are searching for and you know what other keyword phrases could I be adding in that would be come a, a steady stream of traffic instead of a trickling stream or a stream that fades off. This is an important piece of the research too, is to see where is the traffic coming in. And it's good to have a good wide range of uh, keyword phrases so that you're getting only the top 25 are demonstrated here, but what's this one? Cannabis. I actually ranked well for cannabis for a while. And which video, if I was to click on that, well, it doesn't, doesn't tell me which video. Just which country. Yeah, whatever. Which video had that keyword phrase? So, YouTube search. important part of the traffic. And so here we are on the home page of the Juiced Cannabis channel on YouTube. 2372 subscribers today. We have a few different playlists down the range here. Some really good stuff down at the bottom. Fantastic. I think the main thing that I learned after going through all this detail is that there may be value to partner promotion services that I've been neglecting. And they're asking for 20 and 25 percent 
of my earnings to be in part of their uh, networks. And I think that's insane, and I think that's a complete scam. But if there are networks out there that are going to give me enough traffic to change my tra my earnings from $70 a month or $50 a month or whatever it is right now to, say, two two $300 a month, then they could take their 25% and I would be earning more money than I would have been earning on my own. And they get their 25%. That would be acceptable. So each one of them that has approached me, I have asked them for specific details and case studies and testimonials and no one's responded. They just give all these vague uh, promises without any specifics or case studies. If they had a case study where they had a guy like me who was, was making $56.55 in the last 30 days and upon joining he was all of a sudden making $150 in 30 days after they took their commissions, that would be a very powerful uh, case study that would make me think, oh, okay, let me check this out. I also want an option to opt out as well, and that assurance in the sales letter from them that if I were to join them, I could opt out after a while if it wasn't working for me. And we'll see how that goes. Anyway, so this is that's it, probably it for this one. I hope you found this interesting. If you've got any questions about how to increase your earnings on YouTube, if you've got any suggestions on how to increase your earnings on YouTube, if you've got any experience, step right up. Leave your comments below. It would be helpful to me and the whole community. I'd be very appreciative of your assistance. Thanks again. This is Joey from the Juiced Cannabis channel, signing off.